The Supreme Court sides with the Nebraska Attorney General and strikes down the Biden administration's student loan forgiveness plan. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Shamert. I'm Quinesia Fraser. It would have forgiven up to $20,000 for more than 40 million borrowers. Nebraska led six states in the argument that the program was an executive overreach. The administration pushed back and said it was lawful under the 2003 HEROES Act that states the government can provide student loan relief when there's a national emergency. Omaha's news leader has team coverage tonight. KETV News Watch 7's Maddie Augustine has reaction from students. But first, Joey Safchek is live in our newsroom with what Nebraska leaders are calling a win for taxpayers. Bill Quinesia, Nebraska took the lead among the Republican states that brought the lawsuit, which ultimately led to this morning's decision. The court's six conservative justices struck down the plan, which would have eliminated up to $20,000 in student debt for eligible borrowers. Nebraska's attorney general praises the U.S. Supreme Court for blocking the Biden administration's student debt relief program. Today is a, it's a great day for our country. But other Nebraskans are concerned about the consequences of the court's ruling. If you end up being late on that student loan payment, that could really drop your credit score down over 100 points a month. Mike Hilders calls the decision a victory because it saves taxpayer dollars. But that's not the only reason, he says Nebraska and five other states brought their opposition all the way to the high court. This protects one of the most important bedrocks of how we have all agreed to govern ourselves in this country. We have recognized that it is Congress and only Congress that has the power of the purse. But Nika Johnson, CEO of Omaha-based Budget to Success, says the ruling is a letdown for the real people behind each loan, especially when it comes to closing the wealth gap. Some people are fighting silent battles, you know, so to me it's disheartening to see that people are already struggling and then now it's even worse. Hilders discussed his own student debt. I have a lot of empathy for those people who are struggling under that debt or any other debt because I know how difficult it is. But he believes the court today kept the president's power in check. There is a right way and a wrong way under our system of government. Johnson implores Nebraskans not to feel hopeless because of the high court's ruling. It starts with managing your money. Make for sure you're properly budgeting so you can create a debt reduction strategy. Johnson's big piece of advice, do not ignore your loan payments. Contact your loan provider as soon as you can to learn about any changes, but the last thing you want to do is accrue more interest. Bill Quinesia.